What's going on everybody? Welcome to your 19th Python tutorial. And today in Python I'm going to be teaching you guys about something called a dictionary. Now what a dictionary was is it uses something called keys and values to look up um, items instead of when we were making lists and sequences we looked them up by number what uh, number their element was so in this one a dictionary works just like a regular dictionary you can use a word to look up another value so let me show you guys the syntax for a dictionary it's a little different than a list or a typical sequ sequence so let me make um, you can name your dictionary anything you want I'm gonna name mine book just to represent dictionary for now and then inside you have a syntax you need curly braces so write the name of your dictionary and then put it equal to and have empty curly braces now inside your curly braces you're gonna need a set of keys and values the keys is what you look up and the value is what you receive once you look it up so say we wanna look up let's have dad for the key and the value would be the name of him and it would be something like Bob and let's populate this with uh, some more stuff let's have mom as a key and then um, maybe the value for her would be uh, Lisa and then uh, let's add one more uh, we have a bro and of course his name Joe Joe the bro so now we have a dictionary where we look up our family members and it should output us as long as I didn't mess up on syntax the name of them so go ahead and press enter and check it make sure we did everything right and there we go it even uh, sorted it for us so now we can use um, this dictionary to look up values and I'll show you how what you do first is type in the name of the dictionary such as book and then after that you type in the key that you want to look up and you type it in in square brackets so instead of um, a number what you do is type in something like dad and it would give you the name or you could type in something like um, let's go ahead and just show you guys another example mom and as you can see you type in the key and it gives you the value now this doesn't have to be uh, letters or strings it can also be numbers so say you have a dictionary called ages and you wanted to show the ages of them you can have something called dad and he is uh, 42 and then have another one called mom and let's see how old can she be she can be 87 she's a milf and go ahead and press enter and now we have an ages and now once we look it up ages dad we get a number so again the values don't always have to be um, a string of text it can always also be a uh, number as well so now that I showed you guys how to make basic dictionaries let me show you guys a couple um, dictionary methods real quick um, so on our book let's go ahead and let me show you guys the clear method and what the clear method does is take this dictionary right here and it clears all items in it or removes all items so let me go ahead and do this and now once you look at book we have an empty um, dictionary so what clear does again is pretty much take all of these items and just remove them um, another thing or another method is something called copy and what copy does what is pretty much copy an entire dictionary to another new dictionary so say we want a new dictionary called tuna and what we would do is write tuna equals and we want the copy of well let's see ages since we didn't delete that one yet so what we do is we want this new dictionary called tuna what we do is put ages dot copy because copy is the method then just press enter now once we get this we get tuna and we have a whole new dictionary and we didn't have to type it um, character for character and the last thing I want to show you guys is something called has key now this is going to be real useful when checking 
um, for programming and dictionaries and stuff in the very near future. So this is how you can check if a dictionary has a key and if it does it returns the value true but if it doesn't have that key it, retun it returns the value false not return is it alright so here's what you do I guess we have the dictionary tuna right now and w if we want to check for a key in it what we would have to do is put has underscores key and then your parameter of course is what key you want to check for so let's check if it has mom true alright let's check if it has something else that isn't in it just to show you guys has key um apples false so your dictionary has the key mom but it doesn't have the key apples and this is useful for like verification and stuff especially on a lot of the programs we're going to be making this is the um method we're going to be using so that is your quick tutorial on how to make a dictionary and some really common methods on a dictionary. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned a little bit, but not too much. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next tutorial.